Hey everyone, and this is Rob over here at Boon Babe, and hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'll be bringing you all a, another Old School RuneScape video, and this time it's going to be a little bit of a series. So I just finished the Halloween event on my group Iron Man. Here I have my stats, and as you can see there's not too much going on. And I actually need to talk to this mysterious old man, so give me one second. Alright, so here we are, just finished with that mysterious old man, and I'm going to be making this into a series, kind of like I was just saying. And as you can see, here is my stats. Not too much going on here. As you can see, I got a couple things up to 30, and I did a little bit of fishing and cooking. But And I did all this when the account was free to play, but I recently just bonded it, and it's going to be bonded the entire time. I'm going to be using my main and doing some AFK moneymakers over there so that I can have a bond on this account the whole time. And hopefully, eventually, I'll be able to sustain myself so that I can simply get bonds myself without having to rely on my main. But with that out of the way, this is going to be hopefully a series on my progress in this account. I'm going to be going and actually doing a lot of things, hopefully making it so that I do a bunch of the quests. As you can see, only a couple done. I'm going to do all of the quests, hopefully eventually get all my diary capes eventually, as well as maybe even maxing a few skills and doing a few bosses. If we get lucky enough, maybe we'll even do some endgame content like Chambers of Zarek. So if you do like this video, the concept of this video or anything like that, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it really does help the channel get noticed and it helps me know if you actually like this type of content. So with that being said, follow me along on this adventure and we'll jump straight into this video. So first off, let me tell everyone that this is definitely not going to be a guide on how to start your GIM or any Iron Man for that matter. It's really just going to be an adventure, like I said, just stumbling through Iron Man, learning stuff that I probably should have done a lot more research on. And this is definitely going to be a video about that kind of a little bit of foreshadowing there. And it's not going to be all voiceover and narration like this. There is going to be clips of me throughout the video and uh, mostly just explaining what's going on and seeing if it is a good idea as I get into really bad situations. So for this starting point, though, I did want to start off and get some money. So I figured I'd get some money and also get up my fishing and cooking at the same time so I can sustain myself on this uh, pickpocketing session. So I wanted to initially get enough money so that I could get some maroons in order to do the witch's house. So I stayed here and ended up pickpocketing this dude for all of his money, all of his savings, and I got some pretty decent levels. I ended up getting to, I think level 10 is where I stopped, and I thought that this was going to be enough uh, money. I don't, I don't know, I didn't really have any idea of how much money I needed, so I kind of just went with this. Then after that, I ended up starting getting ready for the quest. So the first quest that I wanted to do was going to be Witch's House. And the reason I wanted to do this is because this is something I do on a lot of my new accounts because it does give you a ton of a HP or a health experience. So it'll give you a lot of hit points and that's something I wanted because I did want to get to a lot of the other quests that give you attack experience and stuff like that. And this makes it a lot easier just running through all of the zones with higher level enemies so you don't get one shot because some enemies you run past are like level 80 and they can hit for pretty much your entire health. So I wanted to run over here and get some cheese and get all the materials I needed for the witch's house. Luckily, something that's really nice about witch's house is you don't really need anything in order to finish it. You actually just need gloves so you don't get electrocuted by the gates, I think it is, and cheese to lure out the mouse. So it was easy enough finding that uh, just around the world. I actually had to look up where to find gloves. I've never really needed to look up where to find gloves, but there you go. It's in the south house in the Lumbridge Swamp. And I decided that I was going to go with magic because I really want to get my magic up to 55 so I can do high alchemy as uh, making money is not fun. As an Iron Man, I quickly found out getting three coins per purse is really sad, honestly. And I don't really want to get up my thieving too soon here, although I might because uh, I'm not entirely sure where I'll get all the runes for <laughs> all of the high alchemy, but that's something for another video. So I went through and was like, Man, I really don't have any gold for any of this, so I needed to pickpocket this dude some more. So I uh, went and made him take out a loan and made sure he carried around in his pockets, and then I went and robbed him. So I actually ended up doing this for quite a long time as I realized I'm going to need to buy all of the stuff I need for airstrike. This might have been a better idea to go with ranged now that I think about it, but I really wanted to get my magic level, so I figured why not try it right here. 
what is nice is this kind of did go to plan. It kind of was the only thing that actually went to plan in this entire video. And I was able to actually make quite a bit of fishing experience as well as uh, cooking experience doing this in order to get the shrimp so that I could not die to the guy that kept catching me uh, from pickpocketing him. So this was really nice. I went and just got a bunch of shrimp and I was able to get my fishing up quite a bit. And I'm gonna need to get that up anyways whenever I do go over to Temporos. So this is honestly something that needed to be done. Although I could have been doing the fishing quest. Eh, that's totally fine because I don't mind fishing. It's pretty chill, something to do on a second monitor. And um, yeah, overall it wasn't too bad. And I was able to get a decent amount of food here and there. And I did take a few trips in order to do this entire session of pickpocketing. So after going back and forth a couple times and pickpocketing him, um, probably a few hundred times, I had uh, just over 800 gold and I thought that would have been enough. That was just enough for me to buy 100 airstrikes, so 100 mine runes as well as 100 air runes. And I thought that would have been enough. I just bought the packs, which I know do cost a little bit more. But I figured that 100 strikes would have been enough and man, I could not have been more wrong. So uh, while I was doing the quest, the quest actually went really well. I was able to get the entirety of it done almost and it, yeah, it, it was honestly a pretty smooth experience. I just looted all these chests because I knew they dropped some random stuff including some food that I might need as well as some boots that I don't know why but maybe I'll need sometime in the future. Honestly, the best pickup here was going to be those needles for whenever I do start crafting a little bit. I don't know where else to get them, so I was happy to find those in there as well. As you can see, I was just like grossly underprepared for this because I don't have that much food. I don't have that many runes, and this was just my first go. I thought for some reason, I don't know why I had such a huge amount of confidence, and even though I'd never done this quest as a GIM, usually I come here with thousands of runes as a, uh, a main or an alt so not really used to this I just thought it would be okay but as soon as we started fighting the <laughs> experiment I totally forgot how to uh, safe spot him so you can safe spot the first two experiments on the left side of the room and the second two on the right side of the room behind the box and I just totally blanked and forgot that the enemy needed to be where I was and I needed to be where they were so I don't know what I was thinking, but I died pretty much immediately, so that kind of sucked really bad. Uh, it was funny enough, though, I wasn't really discouraged by this for some reason and was like, oh, totally fine. As soon as I get the safe spot, it'll be okay. So I went and got all my gear back, and as you can see, I have the most questionable setup here and that you could possibly have. I have so many pieces of lettuce, and that's my main source of food right now. So I went through and I tried to safe spot him again. And I actually was able to do it. And as you can see, I don't have a staff or anything like that. So I'm just sitting here and uh, manually attacking him with airstrike. And this just was not going very well. As you can see, even on three times fast forward, the enemy's health just isn't going down. So I, if I had to guess the first time around, I probably would have needed around 500 casts of airstrike if I really wanted to do this on the first try. And honestly, that just would have been like a, a dumb decision. I should have just maybe gotten up my magic a little bit more or saved up more or maybe just gotten up my melee so I could have done this and brought good food. There is uh, practically a, a ton of different ways. Like I said, probably range would have been the best way, but there's a ton of different ways. All of the ways would have been better than whatever I'm doing here. So eventually I do kill the witch's experiment, the level one witch's experiment. So I'm also able to actually corner and get down the second witch's experiment, but then I quickly realized that I am completely over my head and outmatched, so the bear just swipes me down and I'm really sad. So honestly, I think this was a really bad decision from the get-go. I shouldn't have went back immediately. I should have kind of realized that it, um, I was just super underprepared, but either way, we uh, decide to gear up and go again. At this point, I'm honestly just going to keep doing this because I'm so stubborn and really want to finish this quest at this point. So I go back and actually want to pick up an air staff as I think it'd be a big upgrade to the account. Also, I don't know why I sound so incredibly tired in this next clip. Hey, there we go. So we got 25 thieving. It's actually funny how uh, perfectly that worked out. Well, I guess not perfectly, but um, obviously we messed up quite a few times. But uh, I mean the getting caught and finishing right around level 25 that's really nice 
Okay, so after that little thieving session, we went from pretty much zero to 2,400 gold. So that should get us what we wanted. And we got all the way up to 25 thieving. We also got a little bit of fishing and cooking there. So that's, I guess, kind of cool. But um, so let's go back to Varrock and try to not embarrass ourselves again. All right, so here we are. We made it over to Zaf. All right, so we got this huge upgrade. Now we're going to head over and get a bunch of runes so we can cast uh, Air Strike a bunch. Um, actually, we have high enough level to do Water Strike, so I might do that. Let me see how much money I have, though. All right, so in the end, I ended up just going for extra Mind Runes instead of the Water Strike. And I think that's a better idea, honestly, because then that'll give us more chances to uh, miss. <laughs> so let's go and see if we can get some food real quick. All right, so I'm over here at the Barbarian camp. I was going to go all the way to Ardoin and get a bunch of cakes and steal from the stalls over here, but I don't really want to take a ship over. I feel like that would kind of be a waste of time, so I'm just going to get a lot of these cooked meats from these tables, and I'm just going to hop worlds and get it until I have a full inventory. This will be my food for a little bit. All right, so we just got a full inventory of this cooked meat. Let's go get my honor back and actually finish this godforsaken quest. Oh, and I just realized by go and get my honor back, I meant go back to Falador because I don't actually have the keys in order to get back to the place I need to go. So let's go back to the bank real quick. So in the end, I actually made it a lot further than I did the first two times. Uh, so I got to the last experiment here as you can see the wolf and you might also notice that my mind runes are running kind of low so i did start with 200 and yeah so <laughs> man this is uh super unfortunate and even slightly embarrassing but we did not get it on this one either as you can see slowly ticking down I, I even tried to save it by flinching the wolf for like five minutes straight and I just simply have so low combat skills that I can't even hit it. So I would just miss so many times that it actually ended up going up in health, which was incredibly sad. So I, um, but like I said, it's uh, at this point, I just have to get this quest done. It's going to take this entire episode, unfortunately, but I am extremely determined at this point to finish this out. All right, so here I am over in the Dwarven Mines, and I ran over here because I want some gold. I'm going to go for this. Apparently, I'm a glutton for punishment, and I want to really get this quest done with so I can actually have some achievements done in this uh, video. So usually I would want to do thieving for this, but thieving does take a really long time. It's only three gold per coin purse that you steal. So I actually went over here to the Dwarven Mines so I can hopefully make some quick cash by picking up these chain bodies and selling them back to the general uh, store right here. So I'm going to sell a couple of these. And yeah, that's uh, that's quite a bit faster. So, so I'm going to pick up a bunch of these chain bodies, sell them, and hopefully this is going to be quite a bit quicker. I'm not going to get as much money as I did last time. I'm just going to get enough so I can buy far more than I need cast because apparently 200 is way too little. Luckily, I have improved my magic quite a bit all the way up to 13. So I can actually do Earth Strike and even Fire Strike now. So I might do that, but that is a lot of fire runes. So I'm not entirely sure if I will, but we'll see where we go. And well, we got to get the money first, so. Let's get to it. Oh, please, dude. Yay. I finished it. Oh, my gosh, dude. It was, like, literally perfect. I had no more fire runes left. Oh, my God. I bought 150 fire runes, and that was just enough. It's funny because I brought a, like, bow and arrow just in case I might have needed it. And I just missed, like a trillion arrows in a row <laughs> and just decided to not use it at all. It was literally my last cast. I still had 50 mind runes, so I still could have used air strike, but I went with fire strike and I used literally every single fire strike that I had available. <laughs> all of this for this damned quest to get my health up to 20. There's nothing more proper than it saying You've killed this shapeshifter once and for all. <laughs> uh, four quest points and 6,300 hit points. Got me to 25 hit points. 
So I guess I'm going to be ending it here for this week and uh, we didn't make too much progress. This is the first week, so we are going to slowly be building up the account and making more and more progress. And I really just wanted this to be a fun uh, video series, just kind of going along on the adventures of my GIM and watching me mess up. This is obviously not going to be a guide for anyone that knows anything about uh, Iron Man in general. It's really just going to see my struggles as a new Iron Man player and uh, my progress. So speaking of my progress, this is where we're going to be ending. We did get up our hit points finally all the way up to 25 after that quest. We got a little bit more fishing, cooking, a decent amount of thieving as well as magic. So got really lucky in the end being able to finish this quest on the, I think it was the fifth try. And yeah, that was awful. But hopefully I'll do more research next time. And now I know a little bit more of what goes into getting money on a GIM before I have 55 magic. So I really want to get to 55 magic in the next couple of videos and we'll see where it goes. So that's going to be about it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it and thanks for watching. I'll see you all very soon.